The next award is the Guinness Hall of Fame. This year's inductee hails from Dublin. He's a renowned commercial uh, law solicitor by trade, and now his son, Craig, follows in his footsteps. But away from the legal textbooks, he's left his mark on the world of rugby and on the development of Leinster Rugby as an organisation both on and off the field. He's a former player and president of Wanderers. He was manager and selector with the Irish rugby team and, as mentioned, closer to Leinster Rugby, he chaired both the academy board and the professional game board for over 12 years. Not content with all of the above, he's also a trustee of the Leinster Rugby branch. We all talk about giving back to the organisation, but this man has given so much to Leinster Rugby, he's done that in spades. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 Guinness Hall of Fame is awarded to Frank Soman. Uh, you've had a, a long wait with your dinner and everything. You've had to make boring chat with people at the table, the whole business. Um, congratulations. I mean, you must be immensely proud of the work that you've done and seeing that in come to fruition in terms of where Leinster Rugby is right now. Well, certainly, ab ab absolutely. Um, it's, it's, it's been a very interesting time. Probably one of the most interesting parts of it has been there when we started with the academy yeah. back in 2003, 2004. And uh, there's a few, uh, Johnny and Devon who are here will remember us in our early days, uh, plodding along, probably making a lot of mistakes and getting a few things right. But it, it, uh, that was a very interesting time. And uh, we, we, uh, we tried to build up, professional rugby was in its early days at that stage. And we tried to uh, help the players in the academy uh, develop skills, not only on the pitch, but outside of skills, you know, with contract management, financial management, uh, media relations, all that sort of thing. And uh, just one sort of very quick anecdote about that. I remember uh, in the early days, and uh, as I say, Johnny and Devon remember this, we used to try to do media re relations, and uh, um, uh, we, we had a, a session down in Old Belvedere where you had to go get interviewed. Oh. And a, a late colleague of yours, Jim Sherwin, was, was, oh, yeah. was, was uh, did it very kindly helped us with that. But the thing is, when you got interviewed, you, the, the lads in the back row could make smart remarks, but the trouble was that you were back in and you, the, the film was played back to you and your colleagues could make remarks about it. So we had a session where we had one chapter said, we, myself and Colin McEntee were very was excellent original Academy manager. So we have a fellow here who's a bit chirpy, uh, you should ask him a few difficult questions. Uh, so we did, and Johnny came through that with flying colours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that, that was interesting times. Really. Sure, but I mean the Leinster Academy, you know, from from back then to when it started to where it is now. I mean, it's the it's the envy of, of world rugby, I would imagine, at this stage. To be fair, well, it, it is, and, and it's, it's, uh, it is because of the work that's been put in. We've had to, we've had excellent academy managers. Uh, we've brought in people for people come in from outside have helped us in different walks of life and uh, it has changed now the things that we were trying to do in the early days obviously we don't it, it's accommodated because uh, so it, it is but we have to make sure that when we're bringing up bringing in young players that we continue to develop continue to face the challenges nothing ever stands stand still but we have been very unfortunate fortunate to keep people in the academy the academy of managers and we've been very lucky with the people starting, as I say, with Colin McEntee and his successors. We've been very lucky with those people because it is a, a responsible job. Ongoing process, isn't it? But I mean, it's uh, it's like people have conveyor, you know, so it's like a conveyor belt. It's just it, it's churning people out all of the time. But the background yeah. work is absolutely super. It is, yeah. But it, 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 it starts at obviously an early age, and, and unless you have the organisation right, I mean, it, what the thing that always frustrated me, and it was said a lot because. Because you guys in Leinster, you've got the, you, you know, you've got the most, the bigger the capital city and everything else, that doesn't create anything un unless you've got the organisation, unless you've got the people, and unless you've got the determination and the will to do it, it doesn't happen. It doesn't matter whether you're one million or ten million or what. You have to have that, and, and yeah. Leinster have been be very fortunate in that regard, and hopefully that will continue to be the case. Beautiful. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Frank Solomon. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks a lot.